Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Hope Left Me, which is a game created as a tie-in to a music album by a musician named Astrophysics. And in this game, you wake up alone and freezing to death until a weird girl appears before you. Oh god, it's so cold. It feels like I'm inside a dead womb. Very specific statement. Where the hell am I? You're in the future. What? Why? Why should I know? So this game actually has a toggable or adjustable VHS kind of filter. Um, you can completely turn it off and usually I almost always do that. But I did lose the atmosphere of the soundtrack that they're trying to like, kind of build upon for this visual novel. But I did turn off the highest setting, because the highest setting had like, way too much like white, white noise, kind of like all sorts of little effects happening. Huh, you were here first. Didn't you see something? Nope. Amazing. She's too suspicious, but apparently is the only one around. Maybe I should ask her some questions. Who are you? Where exactly am I? Who are you? Uh... I don't know who I am. You're, uh... The girl. That's actually probably your name. What? I was expecting something else since you found me here. I didn't find you. You popped up out of the thin air. I just happened to be nearby when you materialized. It's just too bizarre to be a coincidence. Perhaps you knew something was going to happen. I was just taking my late night stroll. And? That's it. I'm afraid this girl might have mental problems. Better ask her something else. Where exactly am I? I've already told you. Seize the jokes, please. I can't recognize a single thing here. Help me out. This frozen hellscape used to be my home. As you can see, it's just a pile of concrete. I was here, literally chilling when you spawn. I'm just as confused as you. Why do you keep calling it the future? This makes no sense to me. The future's my home. Oh. The future is the best. She's definitely lost it. Or ask her something else. Damn. I'm freezing. So the, to put some context to this, so... This, uh, this musician does uh, quite a few songs around YouTube. Been around for just a few years. I was introduced very recently, and I'm like, Oh, they have an official novel uh, tie-in to one of their latest works. I just said, check it out. And I, I've seen people recommend this game in the same field as milk bag inside of a bag of milk, and those kind of games. Better ask something else. Damn, I'm freezing. Where is everybody? Everybody's dead. I think. You're killing me. Nope, that comes later. Okay, let me ask you again. This is supposed to be a residential area, right? Yeah. So, where is, are all its residents? I've never seen a single person here before. So I assume everyone might be dead. Please, don't just assume the worst. There's more to it, actually. Uh... There's a god here. I haven't seen a single soul. And I don't remember any human interaction prior. Don't you think that's a little too weird? It is indeed. I just can't care. I've been alone for so long. I'm used to it. So you're living a life of solitude. And you're okay with it. Living. I'm gonna have a panic attack. Get a grip. Oh, I'm so much better now. You could at least pretend to help me. Check your pockets. Maybe there's something... Also, at the beginning of the game, there was an option for the VN cut, and then, like, the album cut. And I think that affects the soundtrack. So I chose the VN cut, because it looks like that was what it was designed for the game. But that's why, uh, I think if you actually listen to the soundtrack, it's not going to say loop like this. 
Nothing but pieces of Leyland. This is pointless. Useless. I see. I have to check something now. I think like, like Lane vibes. And not just like Lane the anime, but like Lane as in the internet subculture that kind of formed around the anime. Wait. Please help me. You look quite upset. Of course I'm upset. Something absurd just happened to me. Are you not surprised or something? Sorry. My brain is fried. I can't feel much. But I promise I'm great. Cool. Can you help me then? I never said I wouldn't. She is just too hard to talk to. You can come to my apartment for now. Thank you. Uh, what's your name? You can call me Sasha. It's a name filled with power. Sure. What's your name? Is that the default? I'm assuming. Eh, maybe we'll go that way, because it's trying to kind of put me there. I figured there might be a secret tied in here. We'll mess with that another time. Noir. That's a pretty name. I will help you. In fact, it's a well-deserved change of pace for me. The name kind of makes me think of that uh, Ladybug show. Hold on! I never I never actually watched it. I only saw like the original animated trailer, not the, the CG one. But uh, I always remember that name, Cat Noir. Huh? Don't it's about you. Can't you see I'm desperate? If things are bad for you now, they're going to get way worse. What? Uh, I can't feel my body. It's better not to struggle. My mind is fading. Okay, come on, Noir, or you might freeze to death. You see, I can't remember much. I did space stuff, I guess. Space stuff? Then I came down to Earth. Maybe it was all a distant dream. Blissful noise. I should enjoy this moment. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting the, the milk bag vibes. Suspended into nothingness. There is almost a sentiment of relief. I don't know. This little void's embrace is enough. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up. Wake up. No! Everything is crazy out there. It makes no sense to leave my cozy, ephoral nest. And then dive into a living nightmare on my own. I want this tranquility to last. Wake up. There's not a single reason for me to abandon this higher state of being. Yes, the VHS dimension, but something tells me I should try and open my eyes. Nah, some other time. Wake up. Must be my forgotten sense of reason. Here goes nothing. You know, I actually have a lane collection. Like, uh, like a rare poster. I also have, like, the, um, the PlayStation 1 game. Really weird one. Like the, like the actual Japanese copy. I didn't expect nothing to happen, but nothing happened. I really like collecting, like, quirky games like that. It also seems like I can't move a centimeter. I should be freaking out by now, but I actually feel quite comfortable. I'll just try it. What are you? I won't fall for my mind's tricks. I'm hallucinating. Not again, mind. Be gone, Shadow Thing. It wants to give me something. Who is the gosh? It appears to be a bottle of some kind of transparent liquid. Anime. It wants me to drink it. Okay. 
but give me a hand here. I'm in a tight spot. As I drink the mysterious liquid, my throat burns, and an unfathomable taste takes over. Feeling better. Hmm. Curious. I'm dying. I can taste my death. I'm in deep agony. So it worked well enough. I'd say I'm even surprised that your body managed to handle it. Please never do that again. That was nothing. You're just weak. Get used to the cold and get a hold of yourself. I don't even know what the cold is. I need to be mean. I want to be well. Sorry. I'm not being mean. It's just my way of talking. I don't buy it. And not only are you weak, but you look weak. You passed out for about 30 minutes. I dragged you here. Gave you some more clothes. You should be fine now. Better get some rest. Alright, Lane. I probably won't be able to sleep on my own. I can't shake a certain feeling of unrest. That was another kind of quirky anime from that era. Um, Boogie Pop Phantom. Boogie Pop Phantom was weird. Even though I'm so tired, I could faint any time now. I don't want to sleep. I mean, he had some other stuff like Paranoia H and uh, Perfect Blue and stuff like that. But that stuff actually kind of like made sense in a weird way. Which is weird because just some moments ago, I fell at peace while asleep. The early 2000s anime era was a... That was an interesting time, in my opinion. There, there was a, definitely a certain vibe they had going there. But now I'm filled with a sense of dread. I feel that if I fall asleep again... I might not be able... to wake up. You're passing through a dramatic event right now. You will never fully comprehend the surreal nature of all of this. Are you even real? I don't think too much about it. Last thing I want is to deal with another broken being. Is she talking about herself? That would make sense. Since you're half dead and doesn't want to sleep, let me get something for you to eat. Wait here. You try not to die. Or don't. I can't control you. Or can you? Thanks. I don't know how she endures it. It's unbelievably cold, and she's all by herself. Okay, stop. I need to diverge my thoughts. Let's find something to do. Time to explore Sasha's room. Um, drawer. Something interesting here, perhaps. I open the drawer. It's filled with scribbles, notes, letters, and abstract sketches. Sasha's weird to say the least. She is beyond help. Beyond your comprehension. But I can't judge. God knows what happened to her. Oh. One small note catches my attention. I got the snooper achievement. Stupid as usual, I see. I don't understand. Written countless times over in an abstract drawing. Most of the material makes little to no sense. I'll ask her about these and once I get the chance. Now will be better if I stop this investigation. I'm gonna check something else. Yeah, it was like Boogie Puff Phantom, there was Lane. Wolf Strain? Wolf Strain was alright. Uh, Ergo Proxy. I call that, uh, Kino's Journey. I call that like the dreamlike era of anime. Like, there was more anime and stuff. Like, it wasn't to, like, the tier it is now as far as the marketing level and the dominance. There was a lot of just, like, dreamy, unmarketable shows. Go to the mirror. Can I see myself? Oh, there I am. I, I look like... Ah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Should I have myself now? What did I expect? Well, this coat is clearly oversized, but it has a charm. I also appreciate the scarf. Nice. 
At least Sasha has a nice sense of style. But I can't stand to see my face for too long. Pale and thin. A face of defeat. Where did all my strength go? You're cold and alone. Enough. Interesting. Why do I keep doing this? I'm going to check something else. Ooh, I like how this is picking up. The music that is. Door the window. Um, I can't tell if this is just an artistic thing or if our world is made of broken JPEG pixels. As I lift the currents, a petrifying wind blows. I'm woken by the night. The concrete of snow emerging with the horizon. It's so eerie, but also hauntingly beautiful. Some apartments have their lights on, but they're all empty, like my soul. You saw it coming. You, 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 you already know. As if their inhabitants were raptured while living their routines. I can't imagine what went down here. Just a vague assumption is enough to strike me with me. Enough to strike me with terror. Uh, it was also like Eureka 7. And that's that wasn't necessarily um, a kind of moody anime. But like that's kind of an example. Like That is a mecha anime. But it was pretty like dreamlike at times. They had that kind of dreamlike atmosphere. Uh, there was a horror anime. A better man. Semi mecha. Another one. Dreamy kind of horror atmosphere. Like it just. just everything had that kind of feel. Absolute isolation. Bear Man being a spin-off of Gao Gaigar. I don't want to live like this. The fall did not kill me. The white covered the ground cushioned with fall. No one could hear me. The wind is screaming so loud. No one will ever notice. The snow intensifies. And I can't feel my body. To be buried in snow. Gone like a grain of sugar. This is it. Soon this nightmare will end. And maybe I'll wake up. As if everything never was. Maybe. I don't know what is real anymore. A soft whisper in my ear. It's pointing all my sins. And forgiving me. Visions of sounds of a life lost in time. Vice and malevolence. Maybe I deserve this. So be it. I guess that's one ending. Sprites by Pants Ripper, huh? Interesting name. Step out. I'm losing control. My mind is already opting for death over solitude. Intrusive thoughts. It devours me from inside out. Is this real? Is this really happening? I know the end comes to everything. And it seems I already can feel already. This is the end for me. A fate worse than death. It can't be, 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 it can't be. Knock, knock. Noir, I made you something. I've almost snapped. I need to avoid thinking. Every second I spend alone is enough to make me want to scream. Noir? I'm going. Be strong. I'm just adding the finishing touches. Wait a second. I wonder what she eats here. The vegetation outside is not on its best shape. Are there even animals out there? What a life. Here, I can say with a certain confidence that I'm the best at cooking. There's no one to compete with me. Wicked sense of humor. 
Take a bite. She made a dumpling of sorts. I'm not hungry, but my body needs to eat. Let's see. It's sweet, soft, and creamy. Thank you, Sasha. It's really good. These were used to be called... Cerniki? Cerniki? Pardon my my way of saying that. Sometimes I look up words and like how to say it, but I'll I'll let my pronunciation stand and then people can correct me on that one. Sometimes it's a little more fun that way. The simple make and please everyone. How do you manage to make something like this? With this kind of environment? You see, I'm not a hunter or a gatherer. The animals are gone, and the plants are all dead. But even if everyone died, the city's intact. There are several stores around, with tons of ingredients and food left. Maybe it is a rapture. The only good aspect about this weather is that all food is well preserved. And surprisingly, I sell electricity and gas, but that doesn't make sense. And I already have a plan for when the lights go out for good. So we're safe. How can you endure this? And why are you trying so hard? I think this world doesn't want us here. I barely got here and I know it already. Do you remember where you were before arriving here? Do you remember who you are? That's right. It's like my whole life vanished. Life is absurd to the core. Even if you had the greatest life imaginable, or lived the most miserable tragedy, at the end of the day, we're basically the same. We're born without will, and we die without reason. Just like you being here. Most things in life don't make sense. Doesn't mean that we should give up while confronting reality. We struggle because that's all we have. And in death, we have nothing. That's an unfitting philosophy for a lonely person. But I don't feel enlightened. I feel, t I feel terrified. Know your place. Interpret your fate as a second chance. A tragic second chance. But a chance, nonetheless. That would also be too cruel to accept. What about you? Why are you here? I feel that I've been through a lot. It all seems hazy. Just like a dream. I lost myself, perhaps. But I know I'm here for a reason. Fate and destiny might not be the best words for it. Yet, I know I'm home. I reached my destination. You're not making any sense. So wondering about sense. I believe we can help each other. For now, just eat the rest of the Suniki. Family said. Her words are strong, but she looks so empty. We won't say it this time, nor happy or sad. I don't know if she believes anything she said. I wish I could believe in something. Uncertainty is unbearable. Okay, I need to finish eating these. These are so good. And for a brief moment, I forgot everything. I'm afraid to sleep, but I think I'll lie down for a while. Oh, there is something in the back of my mind. It's knocking. I can see through a glass. This little box is too fragile for it to hold. It's going to break soon. One day I might succumb. I think I have a, an idea what the story is. I don't want to give in. Nor I want to keep on going. 
hours later, it doesn't get any easier. Confusion lurks within every corner. As time passes, the more disconnected I am from myself. I'm just an allegation of twisted thoughts now, screeching and squirming in a dark, abandoned alley. Sasha is good to me. Need to borrow some of her will. Sasha, how do you do it? You there. Huh, new outfit, huh? Where? Here. Awake. Are you ready? For what? Did you really forget again? Are you okay? I'm good? I wonder if that's true. Well, get up. Today is a new day, and we need to hurry. What is going on today? The snow stopped yesterday, and I believe the sky will open just a little bit. This is it. I'm sorry, I'm having huge blackouts. Uh, you've been gone for a while now. But at least you could still remember. I don't know anymore. You're here. Here. How long have I been here? Who knows? I don't know how long I've been here. Either. Does it really matter? Of course it matters. How can you take this? At a point in time, I just stopped counting the days. When the days go by, keep on the falling under. It feels easier like this. Same as it ever was. I don't get you at all. You'll get it eventually. Okay, so where are we going? We need a large open field. I know a place. Just tag along and help me carry this stuff here. She gave me a large box and a backpack. Both were lighter than I expected. Now, let's go, before it's too late. Hey! She just rushed downstairs and left me here. Uh, when did these stairs become so long? I'm feeling sick. Are you okay, Noir? Sasha's voice echoed through the floors. Just a little dizzy. We don't want to miss this opportunity. Hurry up. Her voice reverberating. Combined with the wind. Whistling upwards. The loose metal bars on the handrail. A metallic sound hitting each other. Be strong, Noir. Just get down the stairs. Don't think. I'm waiting here. Why am I so anxious? Okay. Sasha sprints towards the frozen road ahead. How? I can't believe it. She really wants me to run in this cold. Could you slow down a little? Not now. Take a look at the sky. You see? The stars. It's the first time in a really long time. It snows every day, almost non-stop. The clouds are gone for a while. That's why we need to hurry. Yes, I see now. I've never seen the clear night sky here. It's like I've never even seen the stars in my life. Have I? The days come and go, and I don't have any recollection of what my life was, or what it used to be. Wait. It seems Sasha's haste will serve nothing. I can barely move. Oh yeah. Tread carefully. And put some traction in these legs. Oh god. Give me a moment. I'm tired. The city. It's basically a well-preserved ruin now. I've never been this far. Well, it's not like there is anything to do here. Right. You said this place is your home. 
Do you remember how everything was? Vague memories, perhaps. When I first arrived here, I had a more vivid vision of things. I used to keep a diary. I wrote some abstract feelings I had. Whenever I walked around, I had a sense of familiarity. So I went and put this on the paper, along with some sketches of times and places. I'll probably never see again. So, you had a diary? Yeah, we did it, Snoop. Yeah, nothing relevant. I saw some sketches. What? When I first arrived here, I went for your stuff. Out of curiosity. And I happened to see the diary. Or what was left of it. There was one page that got my attention. A bunch of words and cryptic drawings. I don't understand, repeated it over and over. What was it? When I saw it, I felt dread. Well, I don't understand anything. Before your arrival, there were some difficult days here. And I realized something. I never once saw the light of day. I don't recall ever seeing the sun. And I forgot how it is to be warm. And it's truly hard to nurture hope like this. But I still have to see it for my, myself. So I can know how to feel. Feel that feel. That's why today is so important. Ramos Air, hurry up. Such a soothing place. Everything I see is covered in white. You can only hear the wind. Now open the container I gave you. Okay. What is it? This is my improvised weather balloon. Sort of. I want this to go up, high in the sky. And take some pictures. So we can see it. See? See what? I don't know. Anything. Why we're here to begin with. Why the world is gone and stuff. You know, even before you arrived, I had this plan. Maybe we can have a glimpse of everything. I don't really care for answers anymore. But maybe we can still see. Suddenly my yearning for explanations were suppressed. Do we need to take a look? Am I afraid of something? Sasha seems to contradict herself too. As if she wanted to know what is going on. While at the same time, not caring. Or actively trying to let it go. Are you sure about it? What's that all of a sudden? I guess it doesn't really matter. But surely I'm curious. I can't believe it. Of course it matters. You told me not to think too hard about it being here. I faintly remember. And now I don't really know. If I want to see whatever this could show us. I have this complex rationalization. I don't have to let my feelings take the lead. Anything seems reasonable to me. And I'm okay with any out of gum. And how can you do that? All this makes me want to just lie down. And let the world reclaim me. Well, you face it like it's just another day. What are you striving for? I'm determined, and that's it. Rory here. That's enough. Reason. Even with my paradoxical ambivalence. Why did I ask such a thing? Uh, I'm not feeling good. Noir. I'm sorry. I'm a bit weak. Let me get the balloon. Take a time to catch your breath. There is something knocking. And it wants to break free. My lost memories are bleeding into my current self. As if they were someone else's. Feelings of disgust and hate. Grateful isolation. Worse than this current one. Lies and regret. And I don't know why. Alright, 
or sad. And honestly, I get the confusion you might have right now. It's a logic that doesn't really make sense. But again, what is really making sense here anyways? I believe you should decide if we release the balloon or cancel everything and just head back. Oh no. So we'll do both options. We'll, we'll let you let's go home first. Okay, let me pack this up. I got the achievement tired and hopeless. I don't want to think about anything. Too tiresome and overwhelming. I'm sorry about it. You planned it for so long. It's fine. It's not like things would have really changed. Yeah, this depresses me enough. Don't let it get to you. I just... I just don't understand. There is something heavy on me. And it tells me I should give in. There is nothing I want to do now. What do you mean? Is there something you're remembering? Not exactly. But I know that all this is not for me. I'm done. Okay, fine. Let's head back home. Okay, that's never ending there. We'll do the balloons. I think the balloons is the true ending. Release it. Are you ready? I got the achievement hope. I want to see it. Okay. There it goes. I don't know what to expect. But it felt right. It feels right to be the light. To bear this burden. It's better than with withering in the dark. A step forward. A reason. I was too tired of flirting with confusion. I could either embrace it or surrender to it. You being here gave me the hope. I forgot I had. Whatever happened to you, and to me, there's a need to destroy us. Understand that. And let it all be. I think I get her a little bit better now. Let's go, Noir. Once the balloon reaches the stratosphere, we'll know how these things are. This future is my home. Things were never supposed to be like this. But here I am, in my own real nightmare, trying to decipher what this all means. And you only made things harder. But hell, I don't mind. If things never mattered. End. There's one more thing. One more achievement we have to get. Okay, let's try this. Huh, I think I heard this name before. Yep, got vague memory achievement. I will help you. Okay, I mean, that was just like a small easter egg. Also, this is what the game looks like if you turn the VHS filter completely off. So you kind of see what I mean, like, you kind of like lost all the atmosphere without it. It's one of the few times where I actually think the VHS filter is uh, required and not don't turn it off kind of thing. So that's it for Hope Left Me. If you have not heard of Astro Fix It before, I didn't up till like a week ago or a little bit less than that. Uh, that there will be links to their channel down there in the description, specifically to the uh, album that this game is based off of. So I can see the comparison to Milkbag 
in a bag of milk. It, it, it it's in that kind of same uh, core of um. I I kind of always like assume these games are inspired by Lane, like Lane's the DNA of this kind of like uh, visual novel game design like aesthetic, and not just like the visual, but like the way the dialogue kind of comes out in the kind of parlay between characters and their own mental commentary. So overall, I won't necessarily comment on the uh, the music or anything. You can make your own opinion on that. But it is a moody... It's basically a, a moody atmospheric visual novel. There's different ways you can take the story, depending on how literal you want to go with certain things. You know, because there's different ways... Like, I, I could see all these different angles, like, oh, maybe they are the same person, maybe they're one of the same in a kind of like each side represents a different emotional aspect or whatever like it's some kind of terms of something maybe it is a very literal rapture maybe it's a limbo maybe it's just about two people trying to like kind of cope with moving on and living because there is a theme obviously because the title is called hope left me and the the true what i would argue is the true ending is you release the balloons you essentially decide to like all right we're gonna have hope because the whole story seems like there's like a vibe of isolation and like the walls kind of closing in on you. Like you're, you're, you're freaking out. Like it's, it's finally getting to you. And the kind of cold, kind of post rapture ish setting, you know, is very illustrative of like the nature of how someone, even if there's, you're living in like a city full of people, like how isolated and how it feels like you are essentially alone. Like there's no one else out there. That's my take on it, anyways. I like to kind of think it's literal. Well, halfway literal, as in, like, these are two separate people. It's some kind of very vague situation. Although the, the intent of the message of the story, I think, is, for the most part, you know, it's a psychological kind of uh, philosophical story. So, these things are kind of very niche, but there is a very... I, I've seen it, I've seen communities form around this stuff, like, there is a dedicated market that really looks for these kind of, like, experiences. Like, there's actually, like, lists out there of, like, every game that has got this kind of vibe. But yeah. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Hope Left Me. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.